So in this class, we are going to discuss about V SDLC model. Okay. So simply we can also call it as V model. So why it is named as V model, we'll just look into this. So if you see the model, it will be looks like a V shaped model. That's the reason it is you know, named as um, you know, V model. And the uh, first one is here requirement analysis. One thing we require to remember here is unlike waterfall model, waterfall model is a sequential model. Okay, whereas um, in the V-shaped model, the testing and the development activities happens parallelly. Okay, so that's the importance of um, V model. Whereas if you see, if you remember the waterfall model, the testing cycle, the testing activity starts from once I know. Uh, the requirements and the design and the implementation or coding once everything is done then only the testing activities happens but whereas in the v-shaped model it happens you know parallel to the the testing activity starts parallel to the development activities so let's see how it uh, happens so it starts from a requirement analysis okay and during the requirement analysis the testing team okay will be preparing the acceptance testing acceptance testing okay and uh, once the requirement analysis is over they will be making a system design okay system design is nothing but you can consider as a you know, very high level uh, design document very high level okay so in this you know in this system design they'll just think of um, you know what kind of environment we need you know what kind of um, technology we need what kind of uh, you know, uh, softwares we need okay something like that at, at a high level they will be designing some document and at this moment we'll be writing the system testing okay we are uh, doing the test design for system testing and once the system design is completed so they will be coming to the architecture design it's nothing but you know total how many modules we should have and how each module communicate with other module okay so what is the responsibility of uh, you know each and every module so such kind of design uh, a module level design they'll be doing it okay at this moment so when we talk about module level design at this moment they'll be writing the testers you know testing team will be writing the integration testing okay they are doing test design for integration testing and once architecture design is completed okay they will be doing the module design module design in the sense so what they do is for every module okay so they will take the module and they will do redesign it they will you know they will design it further so what are the functionalities each module will be having okay so how each functionality has to work something like that they will design it okay and they will take another module they will do the same thing okay so in the architecture design in the architecture design we do a module level design okay if you remember in the architecture design we do so we'll find uh, we'll identify what are the modules we should have and how each module communicate with other module so that's how we do in the architecture design whereas in the module design we'll go inside the module okay and we'll design it okay how each module how a module should be having the functionalities and uh, how each functionality should behave all those things okay, will be doing that and once module uh, design is completed we'll be coding it okay so uh, yeah one thing i had to uh, i require to tell you is that so architecture design and module design it looks like similar but those are not similar architecture design you know it identifies what are the modules and how many modules and how each module communicate with other module okay so that kind of design they do in the architecture design whereas whereas in the module design they will go inside the module they'll go inside each and every module and they will do the design now okay? in the sense each module what are the functionality it is having how it works all those behaviors they will be defining it okay so this is we can also call it as a low level design something like that okay once this uh, module design is completed we'll be coding it 
so the developer will be start coding it okay so in the module design they are writing the test design for unit testing okay so once module design is done and the test design for unit testing is done so that the developers will be coding it the developers will be start coding it once the coding is completed once the coding is completed so they start from the testers will start from unit testing and integration testing and system testing and acceptance testing okay so it will be like this but where they get the unit testing test cases where they got the integration testing test cases okay so they already prepared here if you see it so parallel to the development activities parallel to the development activities they already prepared the test cases okay so once the coding is done they'll be using these test cases and doing the unit testing they'll be using these integration test cases and doing the integration testing and they'll be I know using the system testing test cases and they'll be doing the system testing at the same way they'll be doing the acceptance testing so this is about um, v model 